Hi, Gay DeRusso with Majestic Rider. So today I'm going to talk about three riding positions that we do with the gated horses. The reason we use these different positions is to help our horses gait. When our horses gait, they need to use their neck, their back, their stomach muscles, their legs, um, a little bit differently than the trotting horses do that. So by using these different positions, it helps the horse either relax his back and neck or it helps him to tense it up. So if our horse is on the pacey side, the more we get him to relax his neck and back, it will usually help to get them out of the pace and gait better. If the horse is trotty, then we want to have them tense their back and their neck up a little bit to help us to get the gait. So depending on your horse, if it's trotty or pacey, can depend on position you ride them in. And again, what gait you're going for, is the gait more lateral? on that side of the um, gated spectrum, or is it more trotty, like a fox trot, and that's on the square going part of the spectrum. When you're riding your horse, the first position I'm gonna show you is just the straight or naturally balanced position. And what you're gonna do, and most of us who have learned English or Western riding were taught this when we started to ride is we want our ear over our shoulder and our shoulder over our hip and then our heel underneath our hip. So we're going to be riding like this and we have a slight bend in our knee and a slight bend in our ankle and uh, the weight down in our heel. Our reins you want them short enough that they're in front of your saddle and in front of your uh, saddle bag if you have one so a couple inches in front of it and you want to be able to draw a straight line from the bit up to the elbow. So this is the straight position. And then you want to make sure you're looking up where you're going. So if your horse gates well, or it was pacey or trotty, but now it holds its gait much better, then this is the position we want to ride them in. We want to ride them in this position because right behind their wither, which is right here, it, the closer we sit to that, that's where the horse is the strongest and can carry us the best. And we're trying to keep our horses healthy and sound. So even if we have to use these other positions to get them to gate in the end, would like us to be as balanced as we can over their center of balance. Okay, so that's the straight position. Now there's a forward position and you will see people do this um, when they do what's called hunt seat riding or jumping. With this, our leg is still going to be underneath us, but our hips are going to be tilted a little bit more forward and we're going to have a little bit more weight in our thigh. With this, um, it's more comfortable to have your hands a little bit lower. So it's kind of like this and um, exaggerating a little bit. So you can use anywhere from this to a little bit to more to a lot. Okay, That's called the forward riding position. When would we want to use that? That is helpful in a PC horse because it gets your weight more forward on their front end. And by getting some of your weight off their back, it helps them to be able to relax their back and also stretch down with their head and neck. So again, we'll use this position if the horse uh, is PC and sometimes that will help. And sometimes just tilting your pelvis a little bit and get more weight in that thigh makes a big difference. When you're sitting on these horses, our seat bones are right here. So this is the straight position. Again, this is tilted. This is gonna be the more forward position. Okay. Now the last position you'll see people in is called a chair seat. So with this position, the pelvis is actually tilted back. It might be hard to see with my jacket on, but you can look at my um, hip position video so you can see that better. But I'm gonna tilt so my tailbone kind of tucks underneath me and I'm gonna be sitting towards the back of the saddle, towards the back of the cantle. So we're putting more weight back here. And as you do it, you're still looking up and everything, but your upper body, instead of being straight and your shoulder over your hip, you're going to shift your weight back some. With that, we're gonna raise our hands up uh, because we're trying to pick up the horse's head. This position, you'll see, again, variations of it. So you might a little bit more 
a little bit more and you might see a lot. And some people, when you're watching them do this, you'll also see their feet go way forward and their feet get way up on the horses, towards the horse's shoulders. What they're trying to do is get all their weight back. By getting their weight back, the horse will tense certain muscles in his neck and his back. So by bringing his head up and the person gets their back. weight back, they're gonna tense certain muscles. And what it does is it makes a horse more lateral. And remember, certain gates are more lateral on that side of the gated spectrum. So most of the time when you're seeing somebody ride like this, they are trying to get a rack, okay? So the other time you'll see people trying to do this position is if their horse is trotty. Because if the horse is trotty and they're trying to get it to do a lateral gait or on the side of the, the gated spectrum that's lateral, they're trying to keep that horse out of the trot by having him tense up his neck and tense up his back. The more the horse relaxes and puts its head down and relaxes its back and the horse is on the trotty side will actually make your horse go into a hard trot. So that's the confusing thing. You know, if you grew up riding, this is what we learned. But again, you're going to see people do different things with the gated horses because they're trying to get certain gates out of the horse. So what I'm going to do, because you probably won't hear me, I'm going to walk a circle right here. So what I'm going to do first is I'm just going to ride around and I'm going to sit in the straight position. Then the next circle I'm going to do, I'm going to ride a little bit more forward. And then after that, I'll show you a little bit of a chair seat. So I'm gonna do forward seat. Now I'm gonna do more of a chair position. Okay, I hope that's helped some of you that are trying to get the proper riding position.